St. Patrick's Day hits close to home for many across the state, especially in St. Paul. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lortzen takes us to an Irish Heritage Center unlike any other in the Midwest. In the Midway neighborhood of St. Paul, the song title is called Manon Aheron which means the women of Ireland. You'll find a little piece of Ireland at a place called Celtic Junction Arts Center. There's culture, there's music, and of course, there's the river dance. Your, your feet are defying physics and your body's gotta keep moving. It's akin to, I always call it like the 800 meters. It's not a straight out, the fastest you can go, but it's really quick. For a, for a sustained period of time. Cormac O'Shea grew up dancing in Dublin, Ireland. At one point, he was even an understudy to Lord of the Dance legend Michael Flatley. Cormac married his wife Natalie and moved to St. Paul, but he didn't leave Dublin behind. Twelve years ago, the couple took a leap of faith and opened Celtic Junction. Our friends told us we were crazy. It's 2009. There's a recession. You would be mad to do that. And we said, okay, we're crazy then. Um, and we did it anyway. They literally hit the ground dancing. The demand for that, it just exceeded, I think, any of our expectations. Pre-pandemic, 500 people a week would walk through the center, and they produce up to 50 concerts a year. Their daughter, Adrian is one of the top dancers and musicians, often performing with her father. But like everyone else, they've gone virtual for now. In this video, they combine three recordings of a keyboardist in Canada, a band in studio, and then lastly, they recorded dancers performing in front of the other videos. The luck of the Irish has nothing to do with this. It's technology and determination. The Irish band would come out and everybody would be dancing like crazy. And I, I want to do that. Brian Miller and his wife work in play at the center. Brian is also the library director. He's cataloged about 5,000 donated books with Irish authors like James Joyce and Oscar Wilde. But it's the history of the Irish in Minnesota that fascinates him the most. That includes lumberjacks from the motherland. You might think of like a lumberjack or a, like a railroad worker kind of as a gruff character and here they had all these beautiful songs. Beyond the music, many Irish immigrants came to Minnesota during the potato famine. Led by Archbishop John Ireland, they had a hand in building the state capitol, the St. Paul Cathedral and universities. A lot of the sisters that were Irish nuns founded the educational centers. The O'Shea's are looking to keep that education going with a new lesson. You don't have to be Irish to enjoy the culture. It's in their hearts. It's, it, they, they know that they are welcome to come here. In St. Paul, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Celtic Junction also teaches Gaelic for those looking to develop a distinguished Irish accent. For more information on their classes, concerts, and outreach, just head to wcco.com links.